Let's talk about why Apple is uh, well, smarter than you. Uh, so Apple today went up, and you heard a lot about no. So they had a pretty bullish reaction today, but you heard them the, the news that came out. I wonder if it could even show up on here. Uh, Apple ends its quest to build its own electric vehicle. Why that took so long is more mind blowing than anything else. Um, cars are going away. Uh, well, maybe not car. Owning cars is going away. If Apple is going to make the Apple car, it should have already been here. Okay, um, the automotive is on its. I don't want to say, it's on its last leg. Not not a dying leg. Last leg. Uh, and even in my mentorship group, I've talked about even selling Ford, a company that I've had for over ten years. Uh, I'm not going to do it all at once. I'm just going to you know when I sell calls, if they, if they get called away, they get called away. I'll start selling a little bit more Deltas uh, on there. <clears throat> But when self-driving comes out, the whole idea of owning a car is just going to be silly. Uh, it'll be fewer and fewer because why own it? Why keep up with the maintenance when it's a full self-driving car? You just open your app and say, uh, I'm leaving tomorrow at this time. You could probably, it won't be long before you could just give it your work schedule. Hey, I work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Go ahead and be here at, at, at 830. Okay, and then a car pulls up and takes you there. You don't have to worry about the maintenance, nothing. Uh, so why would Apple, and if I see one more Apple partners with Lucid thing, I, I would lose my mind. Uh, Apple is not going to partner with another EV company. And people that think that have no idea about anything. Like, I would see more with spray painted sunglasses on, you know, like Apple's not going to do it. They have the design. They have the tech. What they need is an assembly line, which is why they talked about partnering with Hyundai the the fact that that even needs to be repeated or even talked about is is crazy, um, but um, that being said, the Apple Car is not here. So they they, they took their crew and, and put it towards the from what I'm hearing the AI sector. And we've had seen some leaks about this. We know we're the revamping Siri. I think that's going to be amazing. I and I've mentioned this in some previous videos, especially the AI ones with with Mike, where we've talked about AI is prob or Apple being a sleeping giant. There's no way a company this big and the space they're in is just not involved in AI. I would be absolutely floored. Can you imagine that? Every company, literally every one that Apple's like, nah, just pulls a sprint. So when, when Apple came out with the uh, the, the smartphone, <clears throat> Sprint said no one's going to want those, and they put all their chips in one basket, the walkie-talkie phone. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Sprint's no longer around anymore. Uh, and if, if they were around, you wouldn't know because they didn't have signal anyway. Uh, but <clears throat> could you imagine Apple pulling a Sprint? Uh, that would be nuts. So I actually think it's brilliant that that they did. Not that any, my opinion, but right now they're they're putting their uh, their talent where it needs to go, where they need to expand on, what they need to uh, probably button up. If Apple were to pull a a Google with what's going on with the images, uh, if if Apple releases a product, and actually if it shows up like Bard did when when Google first unveiled Bard, it was a laughing stock because it got answers wrong. This is supposed to be your unveiling, and it couldn't even get some basic stuff right. Uh, so hopefully Apple's doing that to button some things up. Um, but that being said, I also did buy this in the growth account, 182.82, 182.92, somewhere around there. Uh, and, and I talked about this, and if, you, if you're following the growth account, if you're following the, the anyway, I post everything that I, that I do in there. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to, I was going to let this week go. Uh, I was going to build up some cash. Uh, so right now we have a we just, we do still have by we I mean I have a sold call in uh, Palantir and SoFi so we're taking that income and I wanted to stack up some cash because I want to buy Apple Microsoft Google Meta and Tesla uh, but I, I was I just I want some exposure I'm gonna I'm gonna start with one share of each and then I'm gonna start piling I'm gonna pick one and, and kind of dig into it uh, but for now I just don't want not that it's FOMO but. Don't confuse it with FOMO, but I want to have exposure. I want to cast my net out uh, in case one of these does take off sooner. What I would like to happen is I could buy one of each, pile into one, uh, get 100 shares, sell contracts against that to buy another one, and kind of snowball it. So the longer we wait on AI, the better for that position. Uh, but I went ahead and bought Apple today anyway. Uh, next week will probably be Google or Tesla. Uh, Microsoft and Meta will be the uh, the last two. I don't want to go into margin when the stock market looks like this. 
Uh, I, and I know it's at all time highs and things look good. I just said don't short it. I just don't want to go in in debt to buy a bunch of stuff. So that's why I'm not just going nuts and, and buying it all right now. Be patient with this one. When you have a smaller account, that's what you have to do. You have to trade that way, or you're just asking uh, to just get wrecked. Um, I'm letting SoFi and Palantir be taken away. Correct? No, I'm uh, no no on Palantir. Uh, SoFi fifty fifty. Most likely not. I didn't want to, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> kids are the reason for car ownership. I don't want to hand carry all my kids' stuff. <laughs> uh, but for adults, robo-taxis make sense. It's a good point. <clears throat> but what you'll probably adopt is a to-go bag. Or tell those kids to put their little hands to work. You grab everything at a store, grab your stuff, let's go. Anyway, as far as Apple goes, let's, let's wrap this up. Uh... Uh, we're ultimately trending. We're technically we're checking that zone from the bottom. Uh, so shorts would probably have their eyes on, on taking a short position here. Uh, I personally am not. Obviously, I just bought it. Uh, what I would like to see is it base out. I, I would like to see it not leave this yellow zone sideways and up, or it pulls up or pushes up a little bit higher, then pulls back and checks us. You know, gaps up tomorrow, fills the gap. Like for for a lot of people that want that, boom, and then we find some buyers again. That would be ideal. Breaking that again, as long as it doesn't break today's lows, I guess would be all right, you know, as far as a, a bullish uh, uh, price action. Uh, but really breaking that, I'd have to assume we're dropping on down to the next zone and that channel down still still remains intact, you know. Uh, he says Apple is range bound on the monthly. Uh, that's a very wide range, but yeah, I'd say so. <clears throat> Let's not forget Apple still... Still pretty much up there uh, compared to what Apple used to be. Uh, this is, again, why I, I had sold my position at 175, 75% of my Apple position in my investment account. Not not my trading account, investment account. Uh, but I am going to start buying that back now, uh, again, due to this AI race. And I just, even though everybody thinks I'm way ahead and I'm overselling it, even I think I'm too late. Uh, the more I look into it, the more I think I am just way too late on this. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll... I'll wrap this section up here. Uh, very bullish Apple now. I think that was the right move. And I think when they announced their AI, yeah, it might just be Siri 2.0 and, and maybe it's a dud. Uh, but if someone's going to monetize something or take advantage of it and take advantage of their ecosystem, Apple is probably going to be the, uh, uh, not the poster child. They're going to set the bar for everyone else. Uh, so I want to be in this one before any AI gets announced from Apple, not just leaks, but full blown. Here's our announcement. Here's our two billion dollar, or, or you know, our, our two million dollar uh, uh, showcase. You know, when they come out and show you guys, here's here's our new iPad. What's changed? Well, it's like one millisecond faster than the other one, but they got a presentation that's an hour and a half long just for that. Fourteen different locations, thirteen people telling you what it is, and then back to the original person. Jump cut to another one. Uh, you know, I want to be in it before that event. Anyway, I'm wrapping up here. Make sure you're uh, subscribed. You know, all the cool stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.